Hey everybody, it's Paul with ebooktemplates101.com and we just uh, received a great question today from one of our awesome customers. She was asking about how to resize images that are too large for the Kindle. And we get this question a lot, so I thought I would do a video on exactly how to do that. So the Kindle screen is 600 pixels wide by 800 pixels high. So if you have an image that is larger than that, it is not going to work. It's going to look awful. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can quickly and easily resize your images to fit perfectly on the Kindle screen. Now before we go into that, uh, just real quick I wanted to tell you about our podcast. Uh, there's a link here at the top of our site at ebooktemplates101.com. I created our first podcast. The first one was more of an introduction to the template, but future podcasts are going to be more about you know more formatting tips and also I'll interview successful authors who have sold a lot of books on the Kindle and talk about how to sell more books so check this podcast out and let me know what you think and if you want me to do more of them and then the other thing is our Kindle blog uh, even if you're not a purchaser of the template yet um, I have a lot of great free info on the Kindle blog as well and I post to this on a regular basis so um, make sure and check that out too. So I'm going to show you two different ways to resize images. The first is with a paid tool and then the second way will be with a free online tool. So what I like to use is Photoshop Elements. It's my favorite um, image editing tool. There's other similar tools like Photoshop or even GIMP. I think it's called GIMP which is I think a free tool similar to this. Uh, and there's Mac tools as well. Uh, you can use Photoshop Elements on the PC or Mac, but there's others. But uh, here's how I do it in Photoshop Elements. Here's an image, and if I click on Image Resize Image Size, it shows me that currently the width is 1000 by 750. Now remember, the maximum for the full page of a Kindle, the maximum size your image can be is 600 pixels wide by 800 pixels high. So this image is way too wide for the Kindle. So it's really easy to change the image size here in Photoshop Elements. I'm just going to click on image and then resize and then image size. You don't want canvas. You definitely want image size. And make sure this says pixels. And also it helps if you have this constrained proportions box checked. That'll keep the proportions the same. So all I'm going to do is put in, uh, let's put in 600, we'll go the maximum width, we'll put in 600 and that automatically will adjust the height to match the proportions and click OK and now we have a resized image and this would actually take the full width of the Kindle screen but it would fit perfect and look great. That's all there is to it. Then I would just click File, Save As or Save for Web and save it as a JPEG file and then I can put it in my Kindle ebook. So that is one way to do it. The other way is with a free online tool. I'm not affiliated with the tool, but I've been uh, playing with it. It's really cool. It's at webresizer.com slash resizer. And this is a free tool, totally free. And it actually has some cool features too. Uh, so check this out. Here's the same photo um, that is 1000 pixels wide right here that I uploaded. And you just simply click choose file and then click upload right here to upload it and this is what it first looks like and then what you can do is down here you can pick the new size for the width so we don't want uh, 1000 width we want a 600 or less and then you can also t play with image quality to uh, test file sizes and see if you can get a smaller file size if you want to and I'm going to click apply changes and then it'll just take a minute. So now we have, um, this is now showing us the full size of the image. So here is the 1000 by 750 pixel image. It actually cuts off the screen. And then here's our 600 by 450 image. So 600 pixels wide, which is exactly what we wanted. And also it optimized the image. It's 85% smaller than this image. Yet it looks great, same quality. So it's beautiful. So all we need to do now is just click download this image right here 
and that would download the image to our computer just like that and it's automatically a JPEG file so it's really simple to do here's another cool little feature check this out with rounded corners watch the corners when I click this look at that that looks cool that's a neat little feature as well and you can add borders or backgrounds to it and special effects there's other things you can do with it but uh, the main thing that I want to show you is how to resize it so again just load your file and then just choose a new width and if you want to you can play with image quality um, I, I would just keep it at 80 and then when you apply the changes you can just download the file and you have a perfectly sized image for the Kindle